world. So what I saw with Streetcar is uh, the ability to develop uh, more and more space, but also the, develop the ability to create more transportation options uh, so that it goes along with uh, walkability, bikeability, cars, uh, hailing uh, systems. Uh, and it's part of the mid-level transportation system. And the fact that it's free means that the people on the streetcar can get off wherever they want, spend money, do things, enjoy the city without having to worry about paying another fare. Uh, the fares that could be collected would be minuscule compared to the benefits of what we're doing without a fare. It's a, it's a, it's a people mover, it's a circulator, it's a system that encourages people to get out and see and do. Uh, and they don't have to worry about it being uh, for a fee. So when it's extended and it goes down to UMKC, that circulation will be in a broader, bigger loop, and I think we'll see the same benefits. Uh, we have set the bar fairly high. This is the most successful streetcar system in the country right now. Uh, we've also set the bar high in terms of the development that's going on downtown as a result of streetcar and other issues. Uh, so people are very much know about Kansas City, particularly the smart and connected aspects of Kansas City. Well, I think anybody who's spending time in Kansas City right now knows how the city feels about what's going on, and streetcar is a huge part of it.